Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. I'm Miss Bockstein, and we're gonna talk today about emotional mark making. How to convey emotions through marks, how to convey emotion through line qualities, whether it's bold, simple, jagged, very curvy or linear, or whether it is just a matter of the fact of gestural marks, how you created the marks, whether it was fast or slow, and we're gonna really dive into the expressive qualities of Mark and how each one of us has different expressions of Mark. Each one of us has our own Mark. And we're gonna really dive in and think about how to make Mark to express these emotions. All right, what is a Mark? This is one of the big questions of our project. So a mark is a type of line, pattern, and texture made with a gestural energy. This means that the quality in which the mark was drawn attached attaches emotional significance. This can be like how you felt in the moment, how you conveyed that line. We're just gonna get right into what kind of marks are there. There are so many different marks out there. We're gonna talk about curvy lines, broken, there's bold, zigzag, delicate, and many more. Lines can be combined and layered and changed to convey different gestural emotions. For instance, you can combine a very smooth line with a really zigzag line, kind of how to show abrupt emotion, like you felt like you were very furious in that moment, but afterwards you were very tranquil. Kind of like how oceans could be very bouncy and then they come smooth and calm you know and to in order to like really express emotions we're gonna like use the feelings wheel in which is a great tool to to use in order to connect qualities of lines to emotions this chart not only includes simple feelings such as mad sad scared or joyful but helps one expand the knowledge of different types of emotions for example, each of one of you will be given a feelings wheel to compare and choose two emotions for the project. But for now, just look at the mad section. Think about how there's many emotions in madness. How do they differ? And right now we're gonna talk about how marks can express emotion. All right, so now that we talked about emotions and the qualities, how can we relate them back to mark making? In a group discussion, try to answer this question. How can marks express emotion? Pause for a discussion. All right, so I hope that you guys had a great discussion talking about how marks can convey emotion. Um, right now, I want you to Think, talk to each other. How can lines convey anger? How can lines convey sadness, excitement, furiousness, or tranquility? And I really want you to pause for another discussion and think about that more in depth. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples of artists who use marks to express emotion. This is Vincent van Gogh's drawing of Starry Night. Um, you guys may know the colored version of this town and the large tree in the center. So this is more of a black and white version just to focus our concepts on marks. If you look at it, there's a lot of curvilinear marks and very swirly marks, very somewhat like gestural marks very like it gives an emotion to it and I want you guys to think for a second what emotion is Starry Night conveying to you?
All right, so right now I'm just gonna give a little overview. So the curvilinear remarks of Vincent van Gogh's drawings, they give a lot of inspiration to the feeling of tranquility, very peaceful town, very like nice and quiet night. So that's just how one way that an artist can express emotions through their marks and how Vincent van Gogh has this very curvilinear mark making to his artwork. So this is just the sec second example I'm gonna give you guys today. This is Frank Arbach's work. He has a very different style of gestural marks than Vincent. While Vincent's are very short and patterned, he has more of a emotional expression to his line work. He, you can feel his hand moving around. You can see it forming the space and all the marks. And I want you guys to really talk about the comparison of Vincent's work versus Frank's work. Um, there's a lot of different line qualities within this work. There's a lot of very bold, there's a lot of very thin and quick. And I just want you guys to talk together about the emotions behind this, how you feel when you look at his artwork. All right, so now that you guys have discussed as a group how his marks convey emotion, um, I'm just gonna express my opinion on it. So Frank's work is very expressive in the chaotic gestural mark making, kind of influencing the emotion of anger or furiousness. Just through the like the quickness of his marks, the bold qualities of his marks, as well as his very like pattern, textural, um, layering qualities of his work. All right, and our last example is by Jean Dubuffet. This piece is called Large Black Landscape, made in 1946. And I want you to just to look at this example and think about what emotions he's trying to convey during this whether it's sad or tranquility or just really look at your feelings wheel and discuss with the class how this last piece makes you feel how does his choice of composition settle with you how does his mark making create the sense of emotion and also, how does it, he differ from the other last two artists, from Arbach and Van Gogh?
Now that we have explored different artists' mark making and how they express emotion throughout, I want you to think to yourself, what is your mark? If you were to create a mark based on you as a person, what would yours look like? What would what kind of qualities would you have yours have, or what kind of emotions would you exude in it? Um, it's very very interesting how when looking at different artists, they create marks in different ways and different forms. So I just really want you to kind of look into yourself and think about that. All right, so this is the project for today. We're gonna be making emotional mark making compositions. So I just want you guys to really explore different type of marks, whether bold, jagged, curvilinear, and just like discuss why these certain mar marks express an emotion. Think, think about what two emotions you would like to create to create your final project and think about why you want those and how these lines can express these two emotions. When you're finished, I just want you guys to review with the class, um, have them guess what emotion you were trying to convey on the emotions wheel, and try to think to yourself how I can express my mark within these works. All right, so for this project, you're going to need 8.5 by 11 paper as well as 11 by 14, and then plastic straws, scissors, inks, and fine point sharpies. So this is just a demo of my different marks. So I just really explored kind of like how you can create really jagged lines, how you can create straight, very thin lines, how curvilinear lines can be formed, how layering these curvilinear lines can express different like chaos within it, how like you can create, transform these marks. And then this is just showing how these marks look in a deeper, bolder format. And then this is just showing like gestural marks, how you can make little fast little moments, movements to create small marks and longer movements to create longer marks. And then this is just one tool that we can use. These are 
plastic straws in which I cut to create a tip. And using a little bit of ink given to you at each station, you're gonna really explore the marks that you can create, how different like ink can be from Sharpie and how using the plastic straw in different ways can create bold marks, very small marks, how you can create pattern within them. And then this is one example of very curvilinear marks, very movement oriented marks, and then a couple swirls, And I want you to think about what emotions are conveyed through these marks. How can these emotions really express like qualities of mark? And then this is just, there's just so many different ways of cutting these plastic straws. So this is just like a small sl slope which created those very different marks on the paper. Well, if you cut them a little bit longer of a slant, they can very much change in different marks they make. For example, this can make tiny, tiny little marks if you use just the tip of it. Well, if you really just like move it around really fast, it creates these really beautiful movements of marks. And how if you pattern the marks together, they create this beautiful movement throughout your composition. So this is just like the exploration part of our project. I just want you to play around with these tools, figure them out. All right, so this is the final project demo. This is just when we're going to be ex using our explorations to create a final composition. And for this, I'm gonna have you guys choose two different emotions from the feelings wheel. In mine, I chose tranquil and furious. So right now I'm going in with a plastic straw and the ink, kind of making some very, very nice, calm, curvilinear marks to show tranquility through like, it's very calm, very relaxing. You kind of want to express the emotion while you're making it. It helps with the ability to express the emotion through these marks. Yep, so I just continue to work with this and I continue to build the composition, kind of like creating almost a focal point by like kind of and showing movement with these lines. And sometimes with the plastic straw, it doesn't really hold much ink, so you're just gonna have to dip it a couple times in order to finish a line. Um, don't get aggravated by it. It's just part of the process and you just want to really take your time with it. Don't rush these p paintings. Um, just because I'm doing mine quick doesn't mean that yours have to be quick because I want you guys to make more of a educated, kind of mark. I want you guys to really think about your marks or kind of layer your marks. Like this cannot, this doesn't have to be just one layer. Then I'm just going back in. You guys can use both the Sharpie and the ink and you can just go back in wherever you'd like to add little other marks to kind of finish off the composition. And now I'm moving over on to my emotion of furious. And as you can see, I'm doing the very opposite of tranquil marks. I'm doing very rushed emotions, very rushed lines, kind of chaotic layering, kind of very fast movements. 
as if I was furious in the moment, you know? And as you can see, like, these are very bold marks. And I went in first with Sharpie, and you guys can always transition back and forth to the mediums. You don't have to just stick with one, the one medium the whole time. And as you can see, I'm going in with the straw, creating very bold marks, very bold areas, kind of really making like that chaotic, kind of furious motion throughout it. And these are, these are gonna be a very abstract emotional paint paintings. They aren't to represent anything objectively, but just like to convey the emotion through these marks that you're making. Like I'm using very strong, very bold marks that are very overlaying and very dark, you know? And you can always use the other side and cut the straw. It kind of adds this kind of like weird, um, natural marks kind of like not really controlled which is kind of part of furiousness the emotion how you sometimes not controllable when you're furious very bold marks very bold bold mark making within this emotion compared to the tranquility there's a lot of curvilinear very nice organic forms Alright, so that concludes our project demos in PowerPoint. I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun just thinking about what mark making is as well as like how these marks can be affiliated to emotions, how certain marks can bring forth very emotional qualities such as anger, very st straight, jagged. You really explore those qualities as well as figuring out what your artistic mark is, how yours can be different than other classmates. Um, always be proud of your mark, take pride in it. And I want you guys to really think about how important it is to express emotion through these pieces of artwork. I really hope, again, I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun with this and that you guys are able to come out with, of this project with a new form of emotional mark making. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.